Uh, there is a chance. We asked right from the start. Um, and it all depends how well Portsmouth's tickets sell. Ours have sold faster. Um, and I, I, Portsmouth are confident they'll sell out. However, if you look at the, the pattern, I think we might be able to get one or two blocks. We are asking all the time. Um, and it, we'll definitely get a few hundred more. It's whether we can get a few thousand more. Great. Fantastic. So hopefully make one or two people happier. Um, look, the, 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 the ticket scenario, it's, it's not gone smoothly, has it? I mean, it, it, a lot of people have been complaining about the uh, ticket master um, and the process. Uh, are there a lot of lessons for you to take from this? Because um, we understand that Ticketmaster ongoing is going to be dealing with tickets at Sunderland. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, it, it's obviously the first one I've gone through. Um, and from that perspective, you listen to what the club has done before. Cause it's not the first time the club has obviously gone to Wembley. So, um, and there are people still at the club that, that were at the club the last time we went to Wembley. So, um, the first thing that I had requested was that we sell the tickets. Um, but as soon as we became the second game, um, according to the people within the club, that became impossible because we just didn't have the time scale for the manpower to actually um, sell the tickets. And it's not just the manpower, the systems apparently need to talk to each other so we can pass over the data. And one of the issues that we've got, and, and you know, we've gone to Ticketmaster, is because if you like, you know, some people will be happy, some people aren't, and everything you do. But um, when we came in, um, the staff have said that the ticket system we have is on its last legs. Um, it's not really fit for purpose. It's going to fall over. It's on a win. I mean, I'm not a techie. But it's on a Windows-based system of whatever it is. It needs upgrading. We spoke to six or seven different people. We spoke to lots of clubs with similar fan bases to ourselves. And, you know, right or wrongly, there, there aren't that many options. Um, and when you talk to Wembley, they also have preferred options and preferred providers. And, you know, you have to get approval from the FA on who you use, approval from Wembley, approval from the EFL. So the, the reason go Wembley on, on or Ticketmaster on Wembley is time scale and not lack of alternatives, I suppose, because, but, but there's not an awful lot you can do. Um, the tickets were released in a certain manner, same for Portsmouth. You say to them, we will sell our entire allocation. Season ticket holders should have the best seats. Just open the whole thing up. They just won't do it. Um, and you can't make Wembley, you know, uh, well, you can't tell Wembley how you want to sell the tickets. They're released in a certain order because that's the way they do it. Um, and unfortunately, this is the way for every cup final. You, you know, we're no different. But you know, when when you see it come on and you hear, you know, that you know the FA didn't quite get the the instruction right on the pricing. So some children's tickets were charged at adult rates, and then the tickets are released in a certain order. And you think, God, you know, we've got enough issues trying to you know decide who's having the tickets. And, and so, you know, we haven't been helped with that. Um, and I think the biggest thing that we can learn is, is or, or we can try and get right, is who we allocate the tickets to. The issue is we haven't got 60,000 tickets and we think we could possibly have 60,000 fans want to go. So you can't, you can't give everyone a ticket. And, I mean, we have massive arguments internally in the boardroom about who we should do, what we should do, how it will work. Should we give season ticket holders two? And you think, well, you can do that, but that's 48,000. So imagine if you're a season ticket holder and 22,000 say yes, and then you can't get one. So you can't do that. But that means people can't sit with their family. Um, and fundamentally, the football club is too big for the allocation. And then, you know, I sat there and worked through loads of different scenarios thinking, well, if that person gets one and that person doesn't, and you do all that, and then you release the tickets, and within half an hour, a couple of people say something, you think, oh, Jesus, I didn't think of that. Um, so I think, you know, we can, we can always improve, but it's a, it's a difficult concoction. We're not in control of the, the, the way Wembley released, and we're not particularly in control of 
who can sell them um, at that speed, at that demand that Wembley and the FA and the FL approve of. Um, you know, and you don't want people making money out of fans. You know, all the people that have to queue and pay X amount, you know, while they're queuing and phoning back 50 times this and the other. Um, but that, to a degree, is out of the club's control. All we can really do is try and organise the sale of the tickets so that the most loyal fans get them. And then there's always an argument as to whether you get that right. So I think we were always going to have some issues. Um, and fundamentally, if you're the people that got the tickets and it all went through smooth, you're happy, aren't you? If you're the people that haven't got a ticket or you're in the wrong part of the ground, you're going to be upset and you want to minimise that. But that's been difficult. There's no two ways about that. And after, after going through all these trials and tribulations,